Hi, my name is Tom at I'd rather be writing dot com, and today I'm going to show you how you can upgrade WordPress, especially when you get a failed message, which is actually pretty common if you have a lot of plugins. So uh, I'm going to teach you how to get around that through something called a PHP INI file. It's really simple. The way you upgrade, of course, is just by going to Tools, Upgrade. But since I have a lot of plugins active, when I hit reinstall, which would normally be upgrade automatically, I'm going to actually get an, a fatal error because I have, it's, the process is requiring too much memory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into Bluehost. I'm going to generate a PHP INI file. I'm going to increase these memory sizes and, and upload sizes and so forth. And then I'm going to run the script again and it'll work. So I have Bluehost already open. Uh, you can use any host, of course. This is just cPanel. It should look familiar. And I will click PHP config. And there are two settings here. The first is to use the second one here. Same as PHP 5, but all subdirectories will use the same file. So select this first and save changes. This means that your whole site will use the same PHP INI file and it will will run it from public underscore HTML. Now scroll down a little bit where it says install default PHP INI. Click this. This will put a default PHP file into the public HTML directory. So go into FileZilla or whatever FTP tool you have. I've already got mine open to the public HTML file. Let me flip back and forth here. And let's scroll down. Yeah, you can see PHP INI default. So I'm just going to drag this to my desktop. And I will rename it. Let's find it here. To just PHP INI. Now I'm going to open it and I'm going to edit these values that are that are uh, causing the memory to be too small. So I'm just going to do a quick search for memory. And you can see here, memory limit 32M. Uh, we're just going to increase this, 32 megabytes. I'm going to increase this to, I don't know, 80. And this other one, I'll just jack this up to 120. I'm not really sure what the max values here are. Obviously, you don't want to go too high because if you have some kind of bad script that could just, I don't know, bring your server to a halt. And while you're here, uh, you might as well increase your uploads, upload size because, um, yeah, upload max file size. This is handy if you're ever exporting your content through the... XML export. I'm going to change this to 20. And then I will click Save. I'm going to re-upload this. And let's go up here. Uh, refresh this view. I will upload it back to my public underscore HTML folder. Now, come back into your blog. And let's try to run this upgrade script again. Uh, Reset it here and click reinstall automatically. I hope this works. Otherwise, it's going to be kind of a failed screencast. Drum roll. Dun, 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 dun. There we go. WordPress upgraded successfully. So that's all you have to do. You just have to. You just have to basically. Uh, go into your cPanel, download, generate the PHP INI, INI default file with that, that little PHP setting module thing. Uh, change the values, re-upload it, make sure it goes into the right folder. In my case, it's the public underscore HTML. And then you can run it again. And now you won't have any issues with PHP scripts, plugins, or, or other things uh, not having enough memory. All right, thanks. This is Tom at I'dRatherBeWriting.com.